Cybercrime Watch is a program pointing out the types of cyber attacks and challenges that most of the organization are facing today. We will share a series of use cases and solutions that helps the organizations to be aware of common cyber attacks to ensure that they are protected. The three use cases which we're going to discuss later will be ransomware, credential theft, and zero-day attack. The demonstration videos are created from our Palo Alto Network Center of Excellent Environment, which cover security for the network, endpoint, and public cloud. There will be some integrations with other vendor products which most of the customers have owned to showcase different use cases. We have built a story that based on the actual Cyber Security Agency report of year 2020. Used Case 1. What is Ransomware? Ransomware is a criminal business model. Uses malicious software to hold valuable files data or information by encrypt certain file types or deny access to the entire system for ransom. 89 ransomware cases were reported to CSA in 2020 Most of the cases reported were from small and medium enterprises There are also cases observed in the manufacturing retail and healthcare sectors. One of the most high-profile cases happened to Dusseldorf University Hospital in Germany, on 9 September 2020, where a ransomware attack disrupted its treatment and emergency services as well as its IT systems. An emergency patient had to be transferred to another hospital for treatment. Use Case 1. Ransomware Story The names of the organization and people involved have been changed and scenes altered for dramatic purposes only. Horizons Private Limited which is multinational logistics company with local headquarters and different branches globally, handling massive amounts of client-sensitive information. They also have a high ratio of employees who takes turn to work in headquarters and remote offices in separate teams or working from home extensively, especially on this COVID-19 pandemic situation working from home becomes a default setting in some countries. Alex is the IT administrator in headquarters who manages and supports the network and security setup of Horizons Private Limited. He is facing challenges on how he can have the visibility and control for headquarters and remote office users when they are in office or working from home. Susie is the finance staff who managing transactions and invoices in Horizon Private Limited. She is currently working remotely but she also needs to come to back to office in a regular basis. John is the attacker and ex-IT administrator of Horizons Private Limited. Who is unhappy the management terminate him. He learned hacking techniques by himself and used them to take revenge on his ex-company to gain some benefits. I'd like to take revenge on that company. Let me think of a willing victim who can be my best choice. Aha! I remembered that Susie of our financial department who used to give her email address to me. I know she has all the customer's financial documents in Hong Kong and she don't have the capability to transfer it to a shared folder. <laughs> I will send her this phishing email with the link to download the batch file to establish a remote session to her computer. So now I will proceed to say hello to phishing email. So click ko lang tong yes. Connect. Sending. Okay. Yun. Sent na. Hi. Kapagod naman ng live. Back to work again. And financial year closing pa. Oops. Relax muna. Basa email from IT. Wait. Install the VPN agent. Okay. Chill time. Downloading. Running it. Yes! Galing! Naloko na si Suzy. I have an access now to her computer. I will now upload the ransomware to her computer. Hmm. Okay, nice. Uploading. Block ko na para mabayaran na for ransom. <laughs> Hala! OMG! Anyari! I will report this to our IT admin. 
I don't know what happened here. Gumagana pa yan kanina. Ano po ba yung dinownload nyo? We need to check on that. The screen shows that the drive C should be repaired. Hmm, sige, repair natin. Checking now. Uy! Ay! Ano yan? Ako ma'am, victim ka ng ransomware. We need to pay the hacker para ma-resolve yung issue. To protect yourself from ransomware, you can do the following actions. 1. When you see an email that looks suspicious, do not click any attachments or links in the email to download and install files in your computer. 2. Performing data backups regularly. 3. Storing data offline and not connected to the organization's network. 4. Contact your IT administrator immediately to verify whether the suspicious email or file is it legitimate. We will demonstrate how Palo Alto Network's next-generation firewall strata and endpoint protection Cortex-XDR can protect against ransomware when Susie clicks on the link in the email to download the malicious batch file and runs it on her computer. Palo Alto Network Strata Firewall stops the execution of the file no actions required by the IT administrator from the Palo Alto Network Strata Firewall thread logs. We have full visibility and details of all attacks detected and blocked by firewall information like the type of attack thread name, thread category, Susie's username, and her computer IP attackers. Computer IP application used action taken which has dropped the severity and the malicious file name. When Susie clicks the link on the email to download malicious batch file and runs it on her computer. Palo Alto Network's Cortex XDR agent installed on Susie's computer will display an alert that it blocks the execution of a malicious activity. We can click on the show details button to see details of the malicious activity which indicates it is from the same batch file which Susie downloads and runs. This is scenario when the staff is not in office and let Cortex XDR to detect and prevent the threat no actions required by the IT administrator from the Cortex XDR cloud management console. We can go to the dashboard and click on the top incidents to see more details of the attack. The attack which is targeted on Susie's computer is categorized as behavioral threat. Below, we can see more details like Susie's computer name and username severity of the attack action taken which is blocked category of the attack the alert type and description. Which is behavioral threat which uses the command prompt to execute some commands to target a Windows program's vulnerability to establish a connection back to the attacker's computer. The initiator command the file name of batch file which Susie runs. This concludes Use Case 1 Ransomware with Palo Alto Network's Next Generation Firewall and Cortex XDR prevented the ransomware attack with the use of multiple methods of prevention to prevent both known and unknown threats that keeps your users safe wherever they are. Let's proceed on with Use Case 2 Credential Theft. Credential theft occurs when attackers steal credentials to gain access, bypass an organization's security measures and steal critical data. Phishing emails is commonly used to send to victims to trick them to click a link that brings them to a fake login page which looks legitimate to get hold of their username and password. About 47,000 unique phishing URLs were observed in 2020. More than half of the organization spoofed were big technology or social networking firms such as Apple, Facebook, LinkedIn, and WhatsApp, and entities in the banking and financial sectors such as Chase Personal Banking PayPal and Bank of America. Use Case 2, Credential Theft Story. 
I remember madalas may spam yun si Susie noon. But she blamed it on the attachment inside causing security issues. Kaya madaling maloko. <laughs> so, ikaw ulit ang target ko. Since I remember yung email mo, I will send you the phishing email now para mag-prompt ng change password. Then it will redirect you to a fake Microsoft login page. So now I will proceed it to send the phishing email. Click ko lang yung yes, then connect. Yon. Done. Okay, another day again, work from home. Hi, walang masyadong ganap. Kaya, basa ulit email from IT. Okay, change password daw ulit. Kapagod naman, laging change password. Saan na ba yung link? Tagal ha. Ayun, Microsoft website. Username, napakaganda ko pero uto-uto. Char! Finance.com Susie. Password, I love dollars, dollars, dollars. 2021. Makapag-asawa na nga ng foreigner? Okay. Ay, shocks! Ba't ganun? Wala naman change password na ganap. Haha, <laughs> sabi niya. Ayun, ang sunga talaga ni Susie. Nakuha ko na yung user credential niya. <laughs> Kawawang bata. So this is Susie's email account and password now. Magamit na nga sa Real Outlook webmate. I'll do a copy and paste na. Username, Su- Susie Otto Otto Char Finance that Susie. Paste. And now the password. Susie as a friend as Pagyo Char lang ulit. I love dollar 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 2021. Paste ko na nga. Yun! Pasok sa banga. Fuck! To protect yourself from credential theft, you can do the following. 1. When you see an email that looks suspicious, do not click any links in the email. 2. Check the URL of the login page to verify is this the same one you log in to do not submit your credentials if it is suspicious. 3. Enabling MFA is one of the most effective action IT departments can take to combat credential theft. 4. Provide security for mobile workforce working from home or working anywhere. We will demonstrate using Prisma Access with Duo on how you will secure your mobile workforce working from home and secure access to all the applications. Susie as one of the employee will be authenticated with Duo. When she connects to the Prisma Access, even she is authenticated the application that she can access is depends on the authorized applications that she only require those malicious and social media sites has been blocked to focus on doing their duties as a finance staff. Susie has the access for the critical server used by finance team and even she is working from home she can access it securely with the security delivered in the cloud that recently enforced by the company. I have now the complete visibility for all the users wherever they are ensure that they are protected for all the applications they need to access and control the access that they only need for their job. On the other hand we have Jennifer who is a contractor that is also working from home and have been authenticated and connected to the Prisma access. Same with Susie I have control her access to those applications and websites that she can visits to blocking those malicious websites and warning her that the department or monitoring her access for those non-business related applications unlike Susie. Jennifer only has the access on the usual server of the company and do not have the access on those critical applications and servers implementing zero trust on our environment trusting no one and verifying the access of the users who have access to certain applications. This concludes the use case 2 credential theft with Prisma Access which is Palo Alto Network's cloud firewall integrates with Duo for multi-factor authentication helps prevent targeted attacks such as credential theft. We show how it provides great user experience and security for all the workforce working from home.
Let's proceed on with use case 3, zero day attack. What is zero day attack? A zero day is it unknown to the vendor of the target software until vulnerabilities is mitigated. Hacker can exploit the software, data, computers or network. A major cyberattack case, in December 2020, was the hackers targeted victims, through US-based company SolarWinds, which provide computer network monitoring services, to corporations, and government agencies, around the world. Hackers infiltrated SolarWinds production network, and implanted malicious code, into software updates, from Orion SolarWinds key, network management software. Orion was commonly, used by numerous Fortune 500 corporations, and government agencies worldwide. Around 18,000 organizations downloaded the lastest update, and were exposed to the injected malware, which researchers named Sunburst. Yes, TGIF na! Tagal na matapos ng araw, dami pang meetings and ganap on the side. But I'm looking forward to the weekend to watch my new favorite movie. Makapag-download nga ng Faraway Land dun makapuntad ng Baguio. Invite ko kaya si Boss as a friend. Char! <laughs> Ang tagal ng oras, nakalimutan ko na mag-download ng movie. Makapunta na nga sa torrent. Hi, napakatagal. 11am pa lang. Buti na lang, gun na on the movie. Shut! What's this? Reka, tato! What's the meaning of this? To protect yourself from zero-day threat, you can do the following. 1. Have the prevention, first approach strategy, prevent everything that you can prevent from those known and unknown threats. 2. Implement zero trust in your environment, do not trust always verify. 3. Have a good, data backup it is your protection against, major lasting damage, of your data. 4. For the things that you can't prevent to the fast detection in response to mitigate the attack. We will demonstrate Palo Alto Network's next generation firewall with Forescout integration on how can we provide threat detection and response. Let me run through with you what will happen with Palo Alto Network's next generation firewall with Wildfire and Forescout in place to protect and detect unknown threats. Susie working in finance team is current at the headquarters doing their monthly report and at the same time browsing in the internet looking for downloading file. Unknowingly, malicious behind the scene firewall, with the help of Wildfire, analyze the file downloaded actually found malicious, the firewall will then forward this information to Forescout platform via syslog. At this point, Forescout will use this information to query the wildfire to provide more detailed information on this threat. Forescout has a built-in indicator of compromise scanner which will receive of all detail indicator of compromise information from wildfire. Here you can see the timestamp and relevant indicator of compromise information such as threat name, file name, hash severity level, command and control address and much more. We have customized policy in the Forescout to tag the endpoint which will have critical high malicious threats found by wildfire. It will send the tag to the firewall and will implement the action to those user that is tagged by Forescout with this integration. Suzy's endpoint has been restricted for the network access and in the instance that Forescout will identify that Suzy's endpoint is already compliant. It will automatically remove the tag on the endpoint and will establish connection. This concludes the use case 3, zero day attack with Palo Alto Networks and Forescout integration. It helps improve security with context-aware access policies and granular network segmentation. Automated detection and response to threats across managed and unmanaged devices. Closing the security gaps through information sharing and workflows between Palo Alto Networks and Forescout to stop zero-day threats.
This is the end of our cybercrime watch and we hope that this session is fruitful to you. If there are any questions, please contact your local channels and we will follow up from there. Lastly, thank you for your time and patience. Mabuhay! Forget all the sanity, I'ma just do it myself just to double the salary And y'all would just laugh at me, when I am the one that can thank my mama Happily bro, keep on the giggles cause I make y'all proud of me bro Name another easy meal or manny and this was alone they can pack all the shows Cause I'm sick of freaking sitting bigger and powder the money and tatted the clothes So I spit it to existence with these witty fists and my flag to the globe Y'all jabbing at me, I'ma clap back with a hook But if both ain't knocking you out, he's an uppercut then I'll book An orthodox but no rookie South Park to a bully <laughs> Not a single soul knows So I'ma be living the fully These bars never done uh, Three stars in the sun Ay, Blue, red, drape down on the flag No, we never fear none Most of us did grow up with a trust fund Know that I'm willing to kill for a loved one I'm on to move from nothing to someone Reminding my people to shout Despite any turmoil, I'll be proud of my soil. Bucket, <laughs> <laughs> 